Mukama for Munjeva Zuenyo. Praise our good Lord. To Anizanyo, Kumkoto of Marinia Mukama for Yesu. We welcome you so much on our social media. To ever as a medium. We thank you for what you're doing. Here to ever as a Katonda. And we thank God. Kurobra Mumpwe, no one. For our lives and for your own. To serve our way to one that wears a moon, yes. We pray that let him be glorified as we serve in the name of Jesus. We won't send up to Rome, Samarinia, yes. Be blessed as we are blessed in the name of Jesus. To Gavana, we are sharing. Consumo, yes, so much to Gavana for Wari. The issue we are going to share today. You are later on Monte Mitawana. Is the issue that brought a problem to, to mankind. Praise the Lord Jesus. The issue that brought problems to mankind to separate man from God is what I want to share. About. Meaning that this is the foundation of every problem. This issue. It came about because of the issue of sharing. We are going to read in the book of Genesis chapter 2. Seeing how God created man and, and placed him in the garden. And gave him a responsibility of tilling the garden. And also gave him his portions in that garden. That he has to remain a portion of God on whatever he gave him. Then man came and deceived, the, the devil came and deceived the man. Then the man he took also the portion of God in the garden. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are reading Genesis chapter 2 beginning with verse 4. Praise the Lord Jesus. Elutonya amazi kunsi. Mukama katona na bumbo mtu mufufu yensi na mufuwa mnyindo. Muko gobulamu. Na afuko mmuko mlamu. Kama katona na simbolu sukumu edeni. Uwe vanyo wanate komo mtu. Kuya bumba. Mukama katona na mezo muti. Na meza monsiburi muti. Kwa kusanyusa maso. Mburunjo gokulia. Na muti ogobulamu wakati. Murusuku. Na muti ogokumanya ogurunji na ogubi. We are reading Genesis chapter 2 from verse 4. These are the generation of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in the Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. And the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Verse 15 And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that you shall eat of it, 
you shall surely die. Praise the Lord. When God created man, He gave him the first responsibility on earth was to till the garden where he, he was supposed to get what to eat. The first assignment or job God gave was for cultivation. There are people who come up and uh, who do cultivation. Yet that was the first assignment God gave. Yes, he was. Praise the Lord. Here in Uganda, we have a, a, a tribe that they can use as an example because we are learning. The, the tribe of the Banyankore. That, that that tribe has got the, the some of them who, who are agriculturists. Those are now called like servants. Then there are those who are cattle keepers. And they are they are known as the the, 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 the royals. And they use it to to flatter the others. But before God, the other ones who are agriculturists, they are the they are the, they are the leaders because they are doing the first work God has sent. It is very important. Cows are very important. But even if you take a whole year without eating meat, you cannot take the same year without eating food. Praise the Lord Jesus. We want to remove from people that ignorance. Exaltation and, and self-appraisal. Because all that is God's work. But the work of cultivation of being an agriculturalist is very important. Praise the Lord Jesus. When God placed this man in the garden, He told him to, to till, to keep it. When give, God gives you a responsibility which we can call a garden, He says that you should take responsibility, keep that responsibility as given. Just like leaders, when God hands over a nation to you, that now is the garden he has given you. Meaning you have to keep that, that nation very well with responsibility. Not for you to come up and do whatever you want. Let me give an example in the nation of Uganda. We have been having the... We, we have been having the problem of cutting people, killing people. But you have not heard that they have now sent the army to go and arrest those people. But when you see the people the, the, the people who come up and, and, and they are striking, they release the army. Because those ones are now touching on leadership. It is good to come and stop the people who come up to strike. But the major thing is to make sure that you, you give people security not to be killed. And you are saying we are giving security to the nation. When they are killing people and no one is caring. And no one has been caught. Praise the Lord Jesus. Means that we have not taken the responsibility. When it comes now to ask them. The, it is a responsibility to see that the folk, the, 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 the sheep or the God's people are transformed yes, and yes. are kept. Praise the Lord. That is our own responsibility to teach the people to be transformed. To ensure their well-being and see how are they living. Are they not working in sin so that the devil can devour them? That one shows that we as pastors, we are now t keeping the, the people. Let me leave that area. Man was placed in the garden. When you read these trees, they look like they are three kinds of trees. 
Kuya. They are those men for eating from. Waliwo go bagama anti kwa ulamu. There is that one they are saying is for life. Yes, ye bazomu. Praise the Lord. Then there is one they are calling, the one of knowing good and evil. This one confuses people. What you have to know that the trees were not so many. They were of two <coughs> kinds. The first one, it is the other kind, of the one we have to eat from. The second kind of tree, the one that was planted in the middle, this is the kind that brings life. And it is the very one that, that reveals or represents knowing good and evil. It is one type. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. We are reading chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. This tree which they are talking of that it can kill, it is the very tree that brings knowledge of good and evil. And it is the very tree of life. It is one tree. What separates or, or, or what gives it differentiation? If you don't touch to eat on it, you remain with, you, you, with life and with peace. But when you touch on it and eat on it, then you end up in problems. Meaning that you has been eating well, you has been knowing well, you has been living a good life. Now you begin to get challenges, you begin to get evil. Now you begin to get evil. Now you also come to know that I have been having, I have been living in this kind of life. Now this other situation has also come. It brings you also to know that evil has also started coming to you. This is what the serpent said. He said, it asked them that were you told that you should not eat of all the trees? And this one said, yes, they, they allowed us all, but they, they told us not to eat on this one. Then the serpent said, no, you just eat. You'll get wisdom. You'll know good and evil. Yes, you will be like God. Because God had already known everything. He knows the good and the evil. So, yet for man, when he was created, he only knew good. He had not known anything to do with the evil or with trouble. He was only in peace. He didn't have problems. But as, as soon as he started eating on the tree, the eyes were opened of understanding that we have seen. Eh, eh. Oh, we are now naked. Nakedness means that you have you, you have you have become shameful. The glory has gone away from you. The power has gone away from you. The authority has gone away from you. The blessing has gone. You cannot go forward. Praise the Lord Jesus. That each time someone does what is contrary to God, 
remains in a state of shame and begins to hide away. That is what caused these people to hide away from God. They had to decide to make for themselves leaves to cover. To cover themselves. Let me give this example. When you are a minister like me, when I, I become shameful in, in, uh, by maybe leaving my wife and get another woman, I start bringing some excuses, some scriptures to cover up my, uh, to, to, to justify myself to cover up, just like David. Praise the Lord Jesus. When I, I start to, to become shameful through stealing, I have to get some justification things to cover myself and also to hide away. I just have to hide away from the truthful scriptures concerning my life. I will not want them to be told to me or also to preach about them. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Even these people, when they, they got ashamed, Adam became wicked. Then God cast the word. Praise the Lord. But the, real, the, the main issue here we wanted to know to know the originality of problems. The problem originated from man taking that portion that was not his, that was meant for God. That is what we want to teach the people to understand. That there is a portion of God has to be given to God. Our own portion will remain with it. We eat our portion. We use our portion. We shall have peace. Hallelujah.